Hi guys, David Texas here, and first of all, I want to say uh, thanks to everyone that uh, supported me uh, over this last last issue about this stalker I seem to have picked up. I want to, I want to thank you guys, uh, TVL, TNT, DMS Productions, uh, Russell, uh, Metallica, 464, Demani, uh, Telepathic Traffic, Fake Gibson Suck. I mean, all you guys have been really great. And the way you supported me, and the advice you gave me, and the, uh, you know, just the friendship of uh, understanding what's going on at the time. So I want to say thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, also, uh, as I said to all you guys, I'm not going to stop doing this because one guy goes nuts on me, right? So here we are again. And I've got the original fake guitar from China, the first one I got. It's a little slash model. Uh, except I didn't get the Slash logo on the headstock, I didn't like that, so they took that off for me. It's just a decal anyway. And it's the red and yellow one that they had up for a while. I really liked it, and uh, still do like it, still play it. Um, but, what I've done, I've put in uh, these new pickups into it, and I took these out. See these? These are Seymour Duncan Slash pickups. Uh, they're uh, Allen Co. Uh, twos, I think. All right. Uh, I think they're both the same. Anyhow, I've got those uh, sitting here, trying to figure out what to do with them. I think I may give them away as a uh, some kind of prize or something. Uh, y'all come up with an idea, uh, and I sure as hell go along with y'all. You know, like a drawing or something. Uh, let me know. Anyway. What I put into this thing, into this thing, is that I put uh, some new pickups that came out, and the, what they are, they're the Seymour Duncan uh, P rails, but they're the new models, the SHPR twos, right? And they are hot, hot, hot uh, pickups. I mean, they're hot, pretty cool too, guys. I mean, I'm surprised how neat these things turn out to be as well. Uh, so here we are with these pickups and the little fake guitar, and uh, basically what it do, what they do, right? Uh, they they emulate a P90, they emulate a Strat uh, setup, and they also uh, have a humbucker, right? That uh, you can play from. And uh, the easiest way to hear these is to simply be strumming them and switch them around as you strum. You hear them click, you know, kick in. Uh, right now, I've got everything set on clean, clean as usual to demo the voice of this thing, the voice of these pickups, and uh, let you hear some stuff on them, right? Let's turn it back up again. I've got some issues with the. Uh, I'm charging up my camera. Alright, we're all set now. Got it on both pickups, and I've got uh, these little switches that come on these triple. I'm sorry, these are triple shot uh, uh, mounting rings that Seymour Duncan also uh, provides or sells separately. And what they're for is to keep you from having to do push pulls, right, or drill in and do mini toggles. And what you're looking at right here, these little switches, you just push them in or out to get your P90 your strat or your humbucker, right? Just flip them around and just get different tones as you do it. Uh, I don't even know what they are right at the moment because I just put these things in. But uh, it sounds like a P90 to me. But anyway, let's just back up a minute and play some other stuff on this thing. Let you hear these and you know, tell me what you think. Slight click sound. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not on the video because you lose generations, but the tone just changed on my amp. And it sounds to me like the humbucker uh, set up on it, right? Back to the humbucker. Up 
Bump the P90. And let's just do some changes here. I mean, that's definitely a strat. All the way back is a strat. Humbucker. P90. Try the other one. Love Bucker. Strat. Not bad, guys. I mean, these are pretty cool. And all I'm doing as I'm playing uh, is just flipping these little switches, right? And I've got mine set up on top, and I've got the uh, uh, adjustment screws pointing towards the bridge and the uh, uh, neck, as usual, with the rails in the middle. So it seems to sound the best that way. I had them uh, configured a little differently earlier, but I switched them back to this again. All right, so not bad playing, right? right. Whoops, sorry guys, sorry. So basically as you're just jazzing along, you play whatever you want to play, do these switches as you're playing, give it an interesting tone to your, your composition. Uh, no one minds having that ability, you know, rather than to uh, go to a, uh, you know, like a full setup like a Variax and pay like 1500 bucks. You can get one of these, uh, let's see the, uh, uh, oh gosh, I just got them brain dead, which is all the time. Uh, the SHPR2s, I think they're around 200 bucks, and the uh, uh, gosh, the uh, uh, triple shot rails about 40. So you're out, you're out about 250, 260 for this setup, and yeah, that's a little expensive, but man, look what you get. You get three guitars in one, basically. Pretty cool setup, as I you know think. Now, something else that's really cool about these. They're very easy to set up. I mean, they come with the instructions. They're all color coded. Uh, these are four wire pickups, and on the uh, 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 triple shot uh, rings, it shows you it has a nomenclature: red, white, blue, green, ground, and one drop of solder. You know, for all four of those, it's blah, 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 and it's done. Uh, it's got a little sticky back that uh, you take the controls or the uh, little board. And just uh, it runs the, from the uh, pickup, and you just glue it right here, and it's set for life, really, because that stuff really is stick. So, one other bit of business, right? Uh, what's that tune on that tone? Man, that tone's amazing. One other bit of business, guys. Uh, one thing that maybe uh, no one understands is that uh, if you play a cover song and uh, you know use it for for making money, which uh, is a no-no, <clears throat> unless you actually pay a uh, licensing fee from the uh, 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 the book owner for the uh, music, uh, you'll get your ass sued, you know, and then pay not only fines but also licensing fees. So I don't play cover songs, right? I play my own stuff, but I sell it and. That's an issue between me and my manager. He doesn't like that shit. He doesn't want me to, to preview stuff on YouTube that uh, he may be able to sell to someone. God, that's good lemonade. Anyway. Uh, mm. Also, as a uh, union musician, <clears throat> man, that stuff's strong. As a union musician, uh, you know better than to play cover music uh, and not uh, pay licensing fees. Like, say for example, if uh, 
here in the South, uh, you probably get away with that stuff all the time. Uh, there's very few uh, clubs to begin with left, but th there are very few union clubs that I played in down South. But brother, the minute you went east or west, they were all union. And if you didn't come in with uh, uh, receipts for your book, the <laughs> your book, uh, uh, your gig lineup, your, oh shit, your, um, <laughs> The music you're going to play, if you didn't come in with receipts, you're managed to have receipts for that music you're going to play, showing that you actually paid the license, you were, you paid the licenses fee to play that stuff to make music money off of. God damn, I finally got it out. Then you had problems with the uh, uh, steward there. I mean, he, he would, uh, he'd, go, he'd turn the show black on you. It's like, bit gone. And if you try to get strong on those guys, all of a sudden a couple of, uh, you know, huge electricians show up, start pulling breakers. And uh, they're just daring you to plug in and try to play something. Once you, you know, go up and you know, uh, <laughs> once you go up in flames when you touch your mic, and, told you so. They're also nasty about having your dues to date too, which is your manager's job to take care of. <laughs> Remind me to tell you a story about that. It's a pretty good one. I mean, it's really funny. recommend these oh wholeheartedly I'm gonna keep these on this and just play this shit out of them uh, what's next yeah next would be uh, giving these away right so y'all come up with an idea of how to give these away to somebody either deserving or just a contest or whatever I don't care they're great pickups they're just brand new god for sake uh, I don't ruin stuff I, I work with and they still have a long 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 leads to them they didn't cut off because I just don't do that kind of stuff. Because I do change these things around all the time. See the long lead on this thing? Good God Almighty. You can put that on anything. So, any questions about this or anything else? Give me a holler. Dave in Texas. Bye.